Last problem of homework four. I'm going to do number 19, which is harder than number 17. The first thing I'll mention is that you actually have two chain rules here. One is with e to the at and one is with sine bt. a and b are just a holder for any number. They're a parameter if you remember from 103. The inner function, which might not be apparent when you see e to the at, is actually at. If you type in exponentials into um, Excel, you use this exp function. So that means e uh, take the exponential of at. So now you can clearly see your inner function's at. If you cover up the inner with your thumb and you replace your thumb with a t, then um, the outer function's e to the t. The derivative of the inner is easy, it's a. The derivative of the outer is just the same thing. So the derivative of the whole guy is the derivative of the outer function with the inner plugged in for t times the derivative of the inner function. All the rule applies. So you're just applying rules. Derivative of sine bt is done the same way. Um, derivative of sine is cosine. Um, and then you would plug in the inner. And so it's the same process. So I did these front end things so that you could see, um, not be confused when you see the product rule. In my number 19, I have a product. I have an e to the at, which is the first mess, times sine bt, which is the second mess. And then I'm going to multiply first times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first. And so what happened is wherever I saw derivative of sine bt, I'm going to replace it with what I got down here. And wherever I saw the derivative of e to the bt, I'm going to replace it with, I think my a's and b's got switched around. Um, this should be an a here. We can change that. So let's just put that here. That's an A. I can say it's an AT. All right, so um, that's what we do. And so in your problem, your A is negative 3. You actually have a number there. So you're finding the derivative, the inner, the derivative of E to the minus 3X is done the same way I did here. And eventually you're going to just going to remember if there's a constant there, the constant just comes out to the front. And um, your first function is a lot easier than my second function. Your first function is x squared. You don't have a trig or anything. And the derivative is found by power rule. So good luck. Questions? Send me email.